got an RX-8 in with a leaky oil lines. I know we covered the obviously installation of our oil line kit a couple of videos back, but we thought in this case it would be a good idea to be able to show you what to look out for and the common signs of um, basically oil hose failing. So we'll take a closer look now. What you can see, this area here, you see there's like an oily, dark, shiny residue to it. You see down this area here. It can be worse in some cases than others. Um, but yeah, you're basically looking for this like wet, oily stuff. This is the back of that wheel arch. You can see where there's a basically an oil spray, which is where the, in a lot of cases, what's been picked up from the tyre and then splashed over. You will also find lots of oil normally on the underside of the car, subframe, lower cross members, stuff like that. So we've also got oil down here in these areas, the lower subframe. You can see there's a little bit on the lower control arm. You see where the subframe is quite oily as well. This is all common signs of oil cooler hose failure on the RX-8. Okay, we've removed the lower wheel arch liner on the passenger side of the RX-8 UK car. So we're talking left hand side. You can see where there's this big oily residue obviously on the inside of the wheel arch liner. You'll be able to see in a moment once we've um, once we get a shot of that, you'll be able to see where, where the source of the actual oil is coming from. Okay, so we've got the arch liner off. You can see this is the core the cause of the oil, this lower connector here. This is normally, this will be the one that goes to the front of the, the engine block. You can see where it's quite badly corroded and it's actually been sort of spewing oil over time down the, down the under tray side support, connectors, wiring. The oil cooler itself is actually in pretty good shape. There's an oil leak there, um, which is normally what most people assume the problem is. And in a second, you'll be able to see much closer what the problem is. It is seeping out slowly. But it's, this is not the worst failure we've actually seen. So here's the offending article. If you wait long enough, you'll probably be able to see it dripping. It's quite clear that it's, it is actually bubbling out there as well, in some cases. It's in a bad state, unfortunately. A lot of the cause of this is down to the, the stuff which gets put on our roads in the winter here in the UK. We're seeing more and more failures of oil hose kits which have been replaced previously under the Mazda recall as well but yeah with the age of the cars even the new hose kits have had a similar issue you can also see the upper hose in this shot is on its way out as well but it's not actually leaking yet